I'm a 52 year old uh, mother of two, professional woman, and I'm here at Occupy Mansfield because I am one of the 99%. Uh, yesterday, I empowered myself. I walked into JP Morgan Chase and closed my five accounts and moved my money to a local bank. Um, that's what you should do too. Alright, well my name is Jen Kafalis and I'm down here supporting the Occupy movement because unlike everyone else who believes this Occupy movement is just a bunch of dumb kids that are whining because they don't have enough money, I know the true facts behind this Occupy movement. I make less than seven dollars an hour and I'm forced to live in apartments that cost five or six hundred dollars a month. I'm not allowed government aid because I don't qualify. I make too much. And unfortunately, like Martin Luther King said, we all are created equally. Equally. Wealth distribution is a big issue in this Occupy movement. What we're doing here in Mansfield is very, very helpful to the community. We're trying to get the small businessman back on their feet. We're trying to get our community back in order. And I am the 99%. Hi, my name is Isaac Albright. I'm here at the, the Occupy World. Occupy Mansfield movement today. And I'm here because I'm tired. I'm tired of working my butt off every day and only making up enough money to get by. I have a bunch of medical bills and I can't pay them because of the fact I only make a certain wage and my insurance does not cover some of the medical bills that I have, leaving me to pay them out for I can barely afford to live as it is. It's outrageous because I'm, I'm not going to declare bankruptcy. I don't want to do that. I want to try to be strong, but in but the way it is right now, it's not very easy. So that's why I'm down here. I do not want. To, I want. I am the 99 percent, and I'm tired of it. I want to voice my democracy. I want to say what's on my mind without being afraid of the implications of saying how I feel. Mm. I want to be able to vote and my vote actually counts. I want to make a difference and be a part of something that we all want to be a part of, I think. We all, we all want to be able to vote who we want into Congress and know that that person's going to go in and do what they say they're going to do before they get bought out. We're in Cleveland. We've been Mansfield for five years. Part of the 99 movement because since the last 30 years, since the deregulation movement, uh, we've seen our median income go down. I've worked full-time jobs here and in Cleveland, and I can't afford to stay anywhere. Personally, I'm a libertarian socialist, but I think if you're a Republican or anybody, you should be a part of the 99 movement because it's only gotten worse. 250% increase in medium wage income for the top 1% and it's even worse for the top 0.1%. So it's time to fix things. And they've got a situation that deals uh, with what the Occupy Movement's about. What's going on with your, your family? Our landlord decided he was going to have the house condemned and everything because he didn't feel like paying for an eviction notice. He had the water shut off, I did a bunch of work for him, gave him my car, and he still and he won't let me get my things out in my home. So you're out of your home now? Yeah. Because he got it condemned? Yep. You have a safe place to stay now? Right now, yeah. How, how, is that temporary? Temporary. temporary. Mm -hmm. Have you been homeless before? Yes. yes. Is that what you're facing? Yes. yes. What do you think your options are? We're trying to get a hold of a friend right now to see if he can help us. And he contacted any social agencies within the city? We tried, we tried taking, One or two of them we tried. yeah, we tried and didn't get no, no reactions from them. Mm -hmm. You have children? No. No. So it's just the two of you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What about food? Do you have plenty of food to eat? Yeah. The people you're staying with helping you out with that or? No. We're no we're you're able to take care of that yourselves? Yeah. Okay, that's good. That's good. Are either of you working? Not many jobs around right now, are there? No. Um, do you know much about the Occupy movement? No. Okay. It's people camped out all over the world, uh, all over the world, 
not just you know in cities in America, all over the world, about the same situation that you're talking about. Trying to trying to get major corporations and government to do something for the common people, for working class people. Yeah. Would you work if you had an opportunity? Yeah.